So let's look now at editing and tagging our wires. Our components are all nicely numbered with descriptors and so on, and you've got your connector block up here, but we've got wires going all over the place that need to be tagged. We need to know what number wire goes into what terminal on what component. So the first thing I'm going to do there is make sure that our drawing's added to our project. So it's a right click, add active drawing, and yes to the project default values. There's our editing and tagging wires, right click, properties, drawing properties, and again just change the sheet number so that it's all neat and tidy, so it's 06. Okay, let's have a look at our drawing now and let's zoom in. Really, you only need to see the circuit itself. The title block is kind of superfluous at the moment. We know it's there, but we don't really need to see it. Now we're going to go to our schematic tab here, and we need to look at the insert wires and wire numbers. Now, you can insert wire numbers individually. So if I go to wire numbers here and click on the flyout and just go wire numbers, I can actually just tag individual wires. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tag new unnumbered only. I'm going to start with sequential and I'm going to start with, let's say, W001. So that's wire 001. And I'm going to pick an individual wire. Now, if there's any cross-reference signals or signals in the database, I can cross-reference them. Format override for the wire tag number. That percentage N is just percent number. You can actually code that, and that's more advanced stuff. You don't need to worry about that right now in a basic concepts course. Layer format overrides. Again, you can decide on what layer and wire number format sequential start, you can actually build macros into how your wires are numbered. Again, advanced AutoCAD electrical stuff. We'll just go with the basics for now. We can insert them as fixed, so the wire numbers are fixed, so they stay that number. So somebody wouldn't be able to come along and do a tag, retag all, and change the wire numbers, for example. Not too worried about that on this basic exercise, but you could do that on a big circuit that you're working on where you don't want people to change your wire numbering. It's a bit like freezing a layer, for example. Now, let's have a look at picking an individual wire. So I pick individual wire, and I'm going to pick that wire there. Now I can pick any part of that wire. So I click there, right click to confirm, W001. That goes in there. So that wire there now is classed as W001. Now, let's go back to that wire numbering. If I go back here like this, notice it goes back to the default settings because I've got no format override or macro set up. Now, if I do a tag, retag all, and start sequentially at W001 again, and this time I do a drawing wide. So I want to tag, retag all wires, and I do a drawing wide change. If I click Drawing Wide, it tags all of the wires that have been used. But you'll notice, look, because it wasn't fixed, that wire has now become W003. So if I undo that, it goes back to W001. So you can see that if you don't fix that wire, I'll undo that one more time. So let's go back there. So there's W001. Now, let's go back and do that again. Wire number, sequential, and I want... W001. I want to pick the individual wire, but I want to insert it as fixed. So if I click on that wire there, right click, notice the color change, it's fixed. So if I now go to wire numbers, and I want sequential, and I want to start at let's say W001, I want to tag all, and I'm going to do it drawing wide, watch what happens. W001 stays fixed. So it's a bit like freezing a layer or locking a layer, and then it starts at W002. It knows that W001 is fixed. Now, editing your wire tags, very easy. We look in here, and we can edit wire numbers. Now, this is where we add our wire numbers, and just to the right of it, edit wires there, edit wire number. So if I click there, pick on there, I can edit that wire number. It's currently set to fixed. It tells me that it's fixed. So I can go to the next one if I want to. I can change that. So 002, 003. So let's say I go up to 
something like 10 and I OK that. It updates but it stays fixed. So a useful tool there, edit wires and wire numbers. That's how quick and easy it is. Doesn't take long to edit and tag your wires. And you can see there the layering system that's built into the standard default settings puts the wire tags with a different color. So it all stands out and it's all very obvious what's going on on your AutoCAD electrical drawing.